Before we have talked about accumulator operators. Now we will talk about unary operators. So what is the difference between accumulators and unary operators? Remember that accumulators perform their operation on the group of the documents. So they accumulate certain value. For example, sum accumulates total count. Unary operators perform operation for each document. They don't work for entire group. That's why unary operators are usually used in the project stage. Let's make a short overview of some unary operators. Type. It will take value of certain field and output its BSON type, like string or integer and so on. Such operators as OR, less than, greater than or AND will take condition or conditions as a value. And they will return true or false depending how those conditions will be evaluated. For example, OR can take several conditions as a value. If at least one condition is true, then result will be true. And so on. Multiply operator can multiply two or more values. There are two important things that you need to remember about unary operators. First one. Unary operators are usually used in the project stage because they work per document and project stage also works per document so it takes each document as an input and outputs one document per each input document. So you can add some additional fields that will use those unary operators inside of them. You can use unary operators inside the group stage but only on the value side and in conjunction with accumulators. Ok, let's go on and let's discuss type unary operator. See you in a second.